Hello everyone, my name is Juan Carvajal, I'm the editor of Eurojuego Buenos Aires and today I will be doing a run through of a game I've designed called MASH Field Hospital Vietnam. Uh, it's a puzzle module, if you don't know what the, the puzzle engine is, I'll put a link in the comments section so you can check it out. Um, English is not my first language, as you might have imagined, uh, so please bear with me. I'll try to be uh, to make myself as clear as possible. Well, when you load up the module, if you uh, the module gives you this screen, you start a new game offline. Uh, Mash is a solitary um, game, so you, so you can play offline if you want to. You click next and you can join the game as a player or as an, ob as an observer. We choose player and finish. Here it is. Now I have to adjust this a little bit. The module has some um, zoom tools. You can fit the height of the image, the width. You can fit visible, which is the same. Or you can um, close up or back. Okay, I use fit height, and it's my favorite. Now, what you're seeing here, it's the two parts of the beam board, and the right part is uh, your base. The, the game is about managing a field hospital during the Vietnam, Vietnam War, so you'll be building a series of uh, buildings in this area. You'll be uh, recruiting personnel that will be placed in this area and you also have your barracks for your combat personnel, medical personnel and technical personnel. You also have your base medical ward, the morgue and um, here you um, count missing in action and killed in action operatives you lose during missions. Now, um, the, right, uh, the left side of the board is a placeholder for many decks, the personnel deck, the installations deck, which comprise buildings and vehicles, events deck that are threats your base will suffer and you'll have to deal with, and missions you'll be performing to gain uh, promotion points. The objective of, of the game is to gain a certain number of promotion points at the end of the game and they would mostly come from uh, missions and from the state of your base here in this area you'll have three um, situation tracks and that uh, track the security level of your base the health healthiness health level of your base and the supplies level of your base with the correspondent uh, base situation markers. If those markers move to the left side, well, your situation is worse, and if they move to the right side, the, the situation improves and you gain points. This is a casualty table reference we'll use um, later. Now, at the start of the game, you'll uh, draw six missions out of the missions deck. Mm. Those missions won't uh, be in the game. The game has uh, 15 missions, nine of which you'll be playing, uh, nine different ones every game. And if you use the extended version, that is the Tet Offensive, you'll use uh, the other six, but that's variant, so we'll leave it from for some other time. One, two, three, four, five, six. You leave these six missions out and you'll start with three opera operatives of, of each type in each barracks. That is three combat operatives in the blue barracks, assigned operative, three medical personnel, right click, assigned operative, and three 
3 technical personnel right click assign operative that are depicted by these uh, squares with icons and with their own colors mm, this in the physical version of the game these are cubes mm, they are much easier to handle but this is the a virtual implementation so it has some restrictions now you'll also uh, begin with two random uh, installations already built so you draw two cards from the installations deck the infirmary and the Iricois air ambulance Iricois. now zoom in a little bit and these two right well you can see these are building cards, installation cards. They have a cost to build. In the case of the infirmary, the cost to medical personnel to build. The air ambulance costs one medical and two technical personnel. And they have um, their abilities. Those two modules uh, actually uh, serve the same purpose that is to treat. Uh, casualties that arrive to your uh, hospital but we'll deal with that later now the structure of the turn is very simple it comprises a series of phases the first one is to recruit uh, in the top, the top bar you'll see the recruit button you press it and your recruit hand opens up and you'll draw as many cards as your base supply level wait and then have oh boy what's that my vassal module just died I'm gonna cut down and restart it okay back to life I know that was weird that never happened but it may Okay, in any case, I draw the medical evacuation pilot, military police, and the forensic specialists. Now, these are, these are uh, specialist personnel. They each bring, uh, they have their name, they each bring a special ability, and a number of um, general personnel uh, of different kinds. In the case of the forensic specialists, it will bring, also bring a combat operative, a medical operative and a technical operative, whether the milita military police will bring two combat operatives and a technical operative. You'll see that. Well, the, the decision here is uh, which, which kind of um, general personnel you'll need, which are your basic resources, and which, um, which special ability you will use. Now, forensic specialist is not useful for me right now, a medical evacuation pilot deals with the opposition during missions we're not going that far in the first turn I'll use the military police which is very handy uh, handling events so I right click recruit this operative I discard the rest close the recruit hand and go to the rooster area now the first thing I'll be doing is adding the general personnel that came with the military police to their respective barracks. That is two combat personnel. I'll select these two, right click, assign operative, and a technical personnel assign operative. And I accommodate these military police in my active roster. That was the first phase. You'll be doing this every turn. Next, I press the button build up here and um, it shows the installations hand. I'll deal again as many cards as my base supplies level, which is plus three, meaning three cards. And what do I have here? Well, I have a security module, a guard tower, that will help. Uh, my base defend against security threats. I got a medical module, that can, uh, an operation room that can deal with uh, uh, serious casualties. And uh, I have a Chinook helicopter, 
which it is expensive, but it costs me four technical personnel and one combat personnel to build. It uh, sucks a lot of fuel for to take on a mission, but it has a lot a lot of room for cargo, and it packs a punch with this attack slot of plus three. It is expensive especially for the first rounds, but I think it will be a good investment especially since I want to go to missions in my first turn for the purpose of this demonstration. So I right, right click and build this, it goes to my base area. Here now I must pay the cost of this Chinook helicopter. Beautiful Chinook helicopter will take all my technical personnel, I right click, assign to installation, right click, assign to installation, all my technical personnel are now devoted to the uh, construction of, of this helicopter site. Plus a combat personnel to deal with the door machine gun. That's it. It's being built at the end of the turn. It will be, it will activate and be available for use, not yet. But that was my second phase build. The third phase, well, things don't get so nice because it's the events phase. Now, events is things that will happen to your base, things the Viet Cong or the or Vietnamese army will do against you. And let's see, the first uh, event is a health threat to the base, a typhus contagion. Typhus contagion, right? The first thing an event does, most does, do is um, reduce, uh, may reduce one of the tracks, the situation tracks of your base. In this case, the health situation will be reduced by one step, meaning the health situation market. I right click, deteriorate situation level. You are not seeing this. Sorry about that. Let's go again. The marker was here, mm -hmm. and with my right click, I will deteriorate, deteriorate the situation level that will drop from minus one to minus two, which is bad. And anyway, hopefully, if I can uh, solve this event, the uh, health situation will be restored. So what I'm looking here is the, the power of the, the damage power of this event, which is mass, uh, my, uh, plus four. The power of the event is um, modified by the situation of your base, the correspondent situation of your base. In this case, if my health, uh, my health, my health situation was better one, the, the, the impact of the event wouldn't be so hard. But since it's not that good, it's a, it is a minus two. This two will uh, increase the uh, damage power of the health threat. Minus two plus four, that is six, six damage power. What can I do about it to contain this typhus, typhus contagion? Well, I can devote milit um, medical personnel which I have three, and since I'm not gonna do anything else in this turn with them, I will assign them, right click and assign them to current event state. They appear from the barracks and appear here, besides the event. Now I have three, plus I have my military police, I just recruited that with its special ability. As you can see, it says events are modified by a plus one step in situation track hmm? when the situation is not critical. So, meaning that it overall gives you a plus one against events. Hmm? So, I have three plus one from the military police, it's four, and the event is four, but my situation is plus two. 
so it's six six against four it yields uh, two damage it does two damage to my base personnel so now we use this table up here to cross reference that uh, damage and in the two column it results in two green casualties that will go to my base medical ward here now I right click I worsen and condition worsen and condition and I have now two green casualties what are green casualties this um, this relates to the triage method uh, by which yeah, the, the medical personnel uh, configures a casualty according to their, the, the seriousness of the injuries green being the most uh, light wounds um, then yellow which is um, uh, an impaired person and red a person uh, severely wounded and needing um, in need of immediate medical treatment and black which is the worst is a black, uh, person tagged as savageable or dead mm? so these are light wounds and these are serious until the person is dead mm? there's a more technical ex uh, explanation in Wikipedia you can find it out and anyways that's the, the, the color code the game uses we have two light wounded people in the medical base mm? due to this typhus contagion after that we'll go to the mission the first time you don't have any missions you're not capable of uh, facing a mission so during the first turn you don't get missions to resolve so after the mission you go to the treatment phase during treatment you can treat the uh, casualties in your medical ward mm, by using your uh, medical modules or even your ambulance vehicles vehicles for example this um, air ambulance can treat it has to uh, has three cargo slots in this this wide slot also functions as a cargo slot and also these two but one of those slots has a, um, a particular skill since it's an ambulance that can turn that can cure a, um, a green casualty we'll go right ahead since we didn't use the, our air ambulance for anything else one of the casualties will be cured in our air ambulance right so we get this green when you turn it we improve its condition to white meaning he has left the medical guard ward the other one even if we can could have uh, cure both just just uh, for the sake of the explanation I used both uh, modules um, the infirmary it uh, specializes in treating uh, light wounds and it can treat two casualties two green casualties turning them white so they're off they go um, so we'll use this ability and we'll uh, treat the last green cube I improve its condition and now it's he's off the medical ward hmm? that's how we dealt with the two wounded by the typhus typhus contagion now the the Chinook helicopter is done is built it's available to go on missions hmm? I put these two together and at the end of my turn I the typhus contagion was not resolved because it produced uh, casualties so it's ongoing I move it to the ongoing event uh, placeholder and the medics that were addressing that situation I'll right click and bring them back to barracks mm -hmm. 
stay back here right this is the up peak, up keep phase right but at the end of the of uh, your turn you receive mission that you will have to uh, accomplish on your next turn now in this case I have to escort a VIP hmm? I have to set a perimeter security around a senator visit hmm? black tax are unacceptable meaning no one can die in the side of the senator but I do have there will be an attack there will be a red casualty hmm? and I have to bring two combat personnel, one medical personnel to the uh, to the escort uh, group. I will. This is my fuel allowance. Mm -hmm. It's two, and the number of enemies I'll be encountering. Two meaning two the six or uh, two six-sided dice. So two to twelve enemies. Mm -hmm going after the senator it's it's not a terrible terribly complex mission but hey it's only my first turn and I still have this typhus contagion so my second turn my second week uh, in Vietnam starts with the same phase all over again oh, I still have three supplies so I still draw three cards mm -hmm. and what do we have here an emergency physician a chief physician and a ranger pathfinder now I do need these um, physicians to um, to deal with the health threat the typhus contagion that will be great but I also need this uh, combat personnel to take care of the um, the senator visit. So choices, choices. What I'm gonna do? I don't think I'm. Let's see how much, how many combat personnel I have. I have four combat personnel. I feel confident I can secure the senator with that. So I'll hire my chief physician which is an officer I recruit that personnel I'll discard the rest close and he's on my active roster now chief, chief physician as you can see brings three medics with him I'm gonna go ahead and add them to my go ahead and add them to the medical personnel barracks and I right click and it has another cool um, ability of the officer personnel that it improves the health situation in your base and it even unlocks a critical base situation in your base so we are we'll go ahead and adjust that since I have my chief physician I can improve the base situation health based situation here right click improve and it goes back up mm -hmm. when it reaches the C spot here the orange spot that's a critical value you need an officer to unlock that uh, and to move the marker away um, out of there mm -hmm. otherwise it stays there and you draw through uh, to events so each turn anyway we are going ahead of myself we have recruited I'm gonna build one two three Ooh, nice well how about this a big truck a mighty helicopter gunship and a simple perimeter foxhole well, these are one of the best more more expensive vehicles in the game and uh, since I've just bought my Chinook uh, 
I think I'll pass for now. I'll go with some, something, something cheap that will improve my base security, that is the perimeter foxhole. I'll dig a foxhole, get a soldier there, improve my base security situation. Right click, build this, discard the rest, zoom out, and close the build hand, and here it is. Now I must pay the cost, which is only one soldier in that foxhole. I'll go to my barracks, one combat pit, Converts personnel. Right click, assign to installation. He's gone. He's now building his foxhole. Hmm? The foxhole will eventually improve my base security situation. And we'll see about that later. Now, the third phase again, events phase. Time to draw another event. Blam. Okay. Well, this is a smuggler, a special kind of threat that requires um, multiple kinds of personnel to address. We have a smuggler in the base that is stealing from our depots and thus I, we cannot commission new buildings such as the complex perimeter foxhole we are building now. Mm? But besides that it reduces my fuel allowance for missions, for going on missions, by two fuel barrels, which is not good because helicopters chew a lot of fuel. So, this, um, this event does not produce casualties, but it will mess up your plans. The other one, the Typhus Contagion, does produce casualties so we'll address this first so we said it had a power of 4 mm -hmm. our base situation now is at minus 1 so it's 5 5 power now if I go to my oh, medical barracks I have a lot of doctors that will uh, cut off all personnel here so we don't have any typhus assigned to ongoing events I assign four medics and remember I have a military police that counts as a plus one against events mm. military police will help um, operatives we will be be collaborative with the uh, shaving so I have four medical personnel plus one mm, that's five one for the military police that's five uh, the event has a strength of four mm, basis in minus one that's five five versus five it's zero it doesn't cause any casualties so it is considered resolved I right click and discard the event to the event discard pile the event is resolved and my uh, health situation that was deteriorated by the typhus contagion is also restored so I right click and improve the situation health based situation in the health situation track hmm. as for smugglers I don't have enough man manpower to deal with that so I just ignore it. Now after the events phase we'll go on a mission and I think I can go on a mission in my Chinook helicopter. Hmm? So I'll take the mission here so you can view it more properly. Hmm? So to go on a mission you need vehicles. Vehicles that will transport your personnel to and out of the action. Mm, let's zoom in a little bit. Now, the first thing you want to um, be mindful of if the f is it is your fuel allowance. You have two fuel provided by you uh, by command to fulfill this mission. 
but you also have your own um, base supplies which are still at plus three two plus three it's five fuel barrels that is what you have to fulfill this mission mm -hmm. now here's the thing now that I remember this saboteur also reduced my fuel allowance by two so of the five fuel I have uh, only three barrels are left and that's not a good news that is actually a very bad news because my big helicopter uses four fuel and I only have three so I wouldn't be able to use it and my air ambulance only uses two but it and I don't think I have enough room carrying capacity to complete the mission let me see the mission here says I'll have to take two soldiers a doctor and bring back a casualty so let's assume for the purpose of this demonstration that I have an extra fuel barrel and I can take my Chinook helicopter hmm? I normally wouldn't be able to do that but hey you want the mission right enough explanations so I have in my Chinook helicopter I have two four six seven cargo slots plus an attack slot that gives me plus three p firepower right in these uh, seven cargo slots I will be taking two soldiers and a doctor as the uh, mission requires I'm, I will actually take my three soldiers because I don't want them hanging around and I'll take the physician right mm -hmm. so I still have one slot for the casualty and two extra slots just in case if I had more soldiers I would have taken them but hey okay now how do we resolve the mission once we have a task force assembled we go up to the task map up here you see four buttons that is 1d6, 2d6, 3d6 and 4d6 mm. now it's hitting 2 as the mission says and BAM you can see there I don't know if you can enemy power is 8 uh, busted ok so there were 8 enemies and my firepower was let me see my firepower was 3 for the attack slot of the Chinook plus 3 soldiers I carried it's 6 6 against 8 they produced 2 wounds hmm? those 2 wounds I cross reference them with the casualty table and a level 2 wounds resulting to red wounds uh, red ones two green wounds sorry about that hmm? so these two green wounds the physical version of the game has uh, green cubes I haven't applied them yet but these two green wounded men go to the medical ward plus the red wounded Wars and wars and wars. Hmm? These three go to the medical ward. Now, uh, mind this: three wounded were taken back in these three cargo spots available in the Chinook. Hmm? If 
I, I didn't have uh, enough room to take them back. I will have to leave behind some of my men. Meaning that if I leave behind an operative, I can bring back uh, wounded and leave behind the operatives. Hmm? And those operatives will be marked as missing in action, right? Missing in action is, by, is bad for your scoring. Mm, it uh, decreases your promotion merits, your points. But if you leave behind a casualty, a wounded man, it will be marked as killed in action, which is even worse. Mm. So you may want to trade off um, by um, leaving behind some of your forces, mm, thus losing them for good, but not losing so many promotion points, mm, because you bring back the wounded and hopefully you can treat them in your base medical ward. So that's how the mission works. Brings back, the mission was completed, because I managed to fulfill the mission requirements and I have survived the attack. So it goes to the mission accomplished mission piles and these Chinooks go Chinook go back to the base. These guys go back I don't have an auto to the barracks up here. Oops. Let's do this. To the barracks up here. Mm -hmm. Now, the up, uh, after the mission phase comes the um, treatment phase, where you treat your wounded. These two uh, green casualties can be treated in the infirmary. Mm -hmm. We saw they had uh, the infirmary has two treatment slots for green casualties that turn them to white, meaning they walk. So these two will be treated in the infirmary. I will improve their condition and voila. But this guy, this guy, oh, I'm in trouble. This guy I cannot treat because I don't have the required facility, the facility uh, capable of uh, dealing with yellow and um, red casualties. So it will worsen its condition and when you worsen a red condition it is it turns to black meaning a black tag. Hmm? Once um, this, the, the, the operative is dead and you cannot treat him. It goes to your morgue. You right click store corpse. You free up the dead. And it is now your morgue. But now I remember the mission explicitly said black tags are unacceptable. Probably the red casualty was the senator itself, so yeah. the mission was not actually accomplished, but uh, forfeited. Well, not forfeited, not accomplished, but it goes in the forfeited mission pile. So, after all, I'm not getting any points for that. Nah. So, let's. Uh, where were we? So we got we did the treatment. We are going uh, through the uh, the upkeep phase. And the perimeter foxhole cannot be commissioned because we have a smuggler here that says we cannot commission new buildings. But hey, the smuggler the smuggler keeps on going because we didn't got him. Here haven't gotten them got him yet. These doctors handling the typhus epidemic pandemic go back to barracks. Uh, 
can see them here in their bits back again and I receive a new mission for my next um, my next turn and again this is uh, let's see just so you can see and again an assault mission hmm? search and seizure capture Viet Cong as, you, as she agitators in rioting village expect medium opposition this mission I will have sorry about that I, I, that's it I will have to bring back to bring casualties I will have a few allowance of three I have to take one technical one medical on two combat personnel and two cargo slots meaning two slots left empty for cargo mm? and I'll be facing two of the six worth of enemy mm. but that that's at the end of the next round but as it is I think you can um, you can see how the game flows mm. every turn you draw personnel you recruit you draw installation you build you draw an event you resolve you draw a mission mm. you you resolve the mission you had last turn after the mission you do the treatment after the treatment you do this the uh, cleanup meaning these uh, buildings get commissioned uh, soldiers get back to barracks and you receive a new mission that's the basic structure of the game you do that for nine missions uh, and afterwards you scored a number of points from missions some missions have like this one for example has metal on it uh, it says particularly difficult mission but it yields five extra points mm, if you do accomplish it mm, this the security track yields points the health track yields points if you reach the MD medal uh, uh, spot it yields extra points mm. if you well it decreases your points if you are in this yellow area meaning the situation is bad and it decreases greatly your points if any uh, any marker it's in the critical situation you lose points for missing in action for killed in action for corpses in your morgue mm. but overall after all these missions you sum up your points if you reach a certain number of points you are promoted and you win the game the game is hard but it, the rules are simple and um, you'll be facing um, hard choices and kind of like pushing your luck uh, will I be able to survive this mission um, I'm taking six guys the guy has three d sixes against me I don't know it may work it may not but it's fun it has a fast pace it has simple rules the iconography is simple I hope you like it if you do uh, please write me and I'll send you the Vassal module so you can try it out thanks for watching